Good morning, Christy Wayne. Getting wild out here, just like the newsroom. You know how wild you kids are at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Awesome stuff. We're outside. Um, hey, Jim, get out of here. Out of here. Uh -huh. you Thank you very much. I'm here all week. <laughs> all right, Jim, how are you, sir? I am great. How are you? For those just joining us, Jim is the new head of the uh, uh, everything. You're the, you're the chief. I I'm should the get, director I, of wildlife. I should have given you uh, like a... You know, a conductor's hat. <laughs> I'm, I'm director of wildlife. Yes, here. you are. Congratulations, Thank man. You. Congrats. Okay. Thank you. So, speaking of wildlife, there's golf turf. What is there that? There is. Yeah, I figured you were going to do a little putting. <laughs> a little putting. Because I need to work on my short game. There Trust you go. me. I there do. You go. Or the Fox 8 Garden. Or... <laughs> right. Oh, no, what this is, yeah. is this is animal enrichment. Okay. So, I have a whole bunch of different things that our animals love to interact with. We are trying to come up with different things. So we look at the animals yep. and we say, what do they naturally like to do? Mm -hmm. And then we try to get them to exhibit those behaviors. Right. So this is a like a grass grow turf. We put it in, the animals rub all over it because it. Yeah, that's yep, what they, they would scratch. do in a while. And then okay. the cool thing is sometimes we take it and we move it from one animal to the other. So there's different scents on it gotcha. and it's even more appealing. Uh -huh. So we have things like rubberized bark mulch that we can put in that's that cool. they can rub on. Uh, we have all kinds of different things that we're working on, and that leads me to why you're here, is yeah. to help us with Balto's Giving Day, okay. which is March 31st. Uh -huh. And on the Cleveland Museum of Natural History's website, we are asking people to donate some money, right. and all of it is going to go to for buying cool things like, like this. this for the animals. That's awesome. And one of the things that we have, we have a couple of our staff look at the otters are ready to go. Mm -hmm. We have some sinking feeders that we're going to put some fish in, bring them out and put them in the pool so that they'll be able to go down. Oh. We know that otters forage at the surface. They also forage underwater. So we have some of their favorite things that we can put at the surface. Oh, look at them. They're ready to go. They too. are ready to go. So we have fish in these feeders. Yep. And, and some of them float. Some of them sink. The animals can stay on the surface. They can go underwater, but this would just promote natural foraging behavior. Okay, we can so hide things all down. over the place oh, for different fish animals, out of that and one, I see. they can find it. So that's what they're doing. We have our three North American river otters here, mm -hmm. and they are one of about 65 different inhabitants of the Ralph Perkins II Wildlife Center Woods Garden, presented by Key Bank. So they are, uh, you know, we try to do this with every single animal. We know that guests love the otter so we wanted right. to kind of showcase them but we try to do this with the fish in the ponds with the birds with the fox with the porcupine the coyotes all the animals kind of have the same plan for their individual species okay this guy found the box over here he's oh, yeah. like okay let me knock these fish that's out right here. oh yeah and that's great and these are all tendencies and habits they would do out in the yeah, wild yeah right? so yeah. in the wild they, they would be catching live fish so one of the things with uh, after the uh, day of giving, when we get our funds, we're going to buy live fish, we're going to buy crayfish, freshwater mussels that we can put underwater. Awesome. So we're just going to try to encompass everything that they would do in nature by doing it here at uh, Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Totally cool. Well, we are having a great time out here, Jim, and look at these guys going to town. They're having <laughs> breakfast. So I'm not going to interrupt those guys. They are. We'll get somebody to be a coffee sponsor so they can have <laughs> <laughs> fish and coffee in the morning. <laughs> when we come back, lots to show you guys. I want to thank all the crew who came out very, very early uh, to make sure we had an utterly perfect otter <laughs> experience. Fox 8 News will continue when we come back, so stay with us.